Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the vlog today. So I have a whole day off of the gym. So I figured I'd kind of do just like a non-gym video type thing. Give you guys an update, let you know what's going on, what I've been up to. Since I kind of just hopped back on YouTube with those two gym videos. But today's a pretty typical day. It's actually the 4th of July, so it's a holiday. Um, I'm going to work right now. We close a little early, so that's cool. But I don't have any lifting plans, so it's just going to be all just kind of a normal day show you guys what's going on today. So if you guys already don't know, I've been prepping and you know, the main reason I started getting back into YouTube and getting back on Instagram, like I got motivated again, was because I'm prepping for a show on July 16th. So I'm doing the LA Championships NPC show in Anaheim on July 16th, competing in classic physique for the first time. So I'm really excited for this. This has been a long, long-term goal of mine was to do classic physique. I always knew I had to bring up my legs a lot more. So I worked a lot the last the last few years. Like I haven't really posted much, but I was still training. I was still lifting super hard, grinding with the goal in mind of competing. It's always been about competing. You know, I've always wanted to long-term be a pro in this sport. And I told myself a long time ago, I'm just I'm never gonna give up until I get there. So whether I'm Whenever, whenever that happens, just keep working for your goals. So that's that's pretty much my mentality. So I'm really excited for this show. But today, I'm just gonna kind of take you guys through a typical day, show you like uh, some non-fitness stuff and what goes on in my life. Biggest supplement store in the United States. So this, for example, this is an entire aisle of all just pre's. Promise you guys, you've never seen the selection ever at a supplement store like we have. Like we have, this is the biggest supplement store in the world, guaranteed. If you guys have seen one bigger, let me know. Some of my favorite snacks. Love the Quest chips. Protein Pop-Tarts, those are really good, the legendary. Got all kinds of pancake syrup, spreads. So just clocking in here, show you guys what we got going on. Now lately, got like a seven hour shift, so got the meals, one, two, and three. Oh guys, you got work. Make those meals happen. Meals, food, real food, as far as bodybuilding stuff goes, most important thing. So make it happen, meal prep. Going through one of the giveaways we're running say for the fourth of july so this is just an example of like what we do a lot of so all these people here entered our fourth of july giveaway on instagram and they each one of them wins all this stuff and we do these giveaways all the time i don't know any other company that does stuff like this but they're pretty cool right like you get one two three four five products in some of them pretty cool all right so about to get this meal number one in or work beyond number one. This is six ounces of chicken, 50 grams of white rice. Not a diet you would really sustain for a long period of time, but since I'm 13 days out from my show, we're really trying to suck down and get as conditioned as possible. So this is more of like a depletion period before we kind of fill out. So I'm hungry. But anyways, my uh, job title here, I guess I'll tell you guys a little bit about it, but I'm, I'm uh, there's two of us here, but I'm one of the general managers of this store. So I've been here for about five years. Know a lot about supplements. So if any of you guys have questions on supplements, hit my DMs. We sell a lot of it here. That's what we do every day. All right, guys, this is wrapping up for uh, for the work shift today. I know it's, I don't really show you guys around too much, but if you want in the next vlog, I'll show you guys a little bit more on the store, more products and stuff, put it in the comments if you want to see it. But uh, right now, I'm about to change, get out of here, and actually have a little 4th of July party for my work they're gonna go to, so it's gonna be full of a bunch of food that I can't eat, but 
That's okay. We're gonna go check it out. So I'll take you guys with me over there. Show you what's up. So driving over right now. Talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on with the prep. I guess the stage I'm at because obviously in the gym videos, you know, always super pumped up, ready to train in the zone. But uh, man, like this point in the prep is it gets pretty difficult. You know, I'm a couple weeks out and like especially today at work, like I didn't even vlog a lot because honestly. I'm drained, man. Like the the exhaustion, the diet fatigue, the hunger. Like it's it's crazy. So just standing for like long periods of time is exhausting, you know. So that's what it's all about, though. I mean, this is like I'm pushing as hard as I can. My coach is pushing me hard. This is as hardcore as it gets. You know, we're pushing for the best I can be. So I'm not gonna break. I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna fight through those, those obviously those hunger temptations. For me, like yeah, the exhaustion's pretty bad. Like that makes it really hard to get through work. But for me, one of the hardest things mentally to deal with is feeling flat and feeling like I'm losing size. Like especially for me, my arms, man. Like my arms have always been a problem area for me that seems to like get flat and lose size quick. But damn, man. Like when I'm wearing clothes and like. You know, people mention, oh, like, you, you slim down, you look skinnier. It's like, dude, that shit messes with me, man. So that's that's the hardest thing to deal with sometimes. It's just, like, you know, kind of how every bodybuilder has, like, that body dysmorphia. But just, like, feeling small, feeling flat, dealing with the flatness. But at the same time, that's part of the process of getting super shredded is, like, you're going to be flat. And when you're flat, that's when you know you're, you're really going to start burning some fat and getting lean. But just some random thoughts there random things that I've been going through I'll let you guys know we'll see you guys at this uh this fourth of July and I'll show you all the food that they're probably gonna have that I can't eat get you guys over there all right but before we head in I'm about to eat this because I know there's about to be a bunch of food in there remember we gotta stay on the meals we don't break so cream of rice is going down there's a cream of rice whey isolate mix and then we gotta go inside Let's see what we got here Ribs, chicken, meat, ribs, burgers. God, this is so good. <laughs> this is it. Fourth of July kickback. I got to let that food look so good. But that's what it's all about, man. You know, stay. Stay disciplined. Don't break. Stay to your goals. Um, but this is pretty much it for right now. Just going to kick it here. This is everyone I work with. So it's a real cool group of people. Um, hanging out, eating, playing. There's a this game's called Cornhole where you like throw the bags in the hole. Danica's training right now. So when she gets done, then I'm going to go back home with her. We're going to practice posing. Got some tilapia waiting for me. So it's been a nice, uh, nice holiday. Nice 4th of July. So I just got back home. Awesome time at the 4th of July party. Dude, the food looks so good. But you know what? I have been dying so hard that even this tilapia and asparagus, like this, this is tasting like some gourmet shit right now. Maybe I'm just going crazy. But I'm gonna do, we gotta do tonight? Posing practice, recovery stuff. Gonna get some body work done from Danica because she's a massage therapist. Much needed. Um, when I was crazy, like what dieting hard will make you crave stuff that you, I like never eat fish, but this tastes amazing. Hot sauce. I would never really eat it if I was, uh, on a bulk, but I'm sure you guys can relate. I don't want to die here, but oh my God. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future. If you want more vlog type stuff, informational stuff, put it in the comments like subscribe let me know what you guys want to see i love making content for you guys so we'll catch you on the next one peace out